Hey guys, I said we were going to do a video series on the wiring for an ALH TDI conversion. So uh, what I did was pulled the second harness out of the car cleanly, uh, which means there's no cuts. There are some sh cuts that make it a shortcut for getting it out um, easier when you're pulling it from a donor car. So we'll go and talk about that later, but this is it. It's a big spider web mess of stuff. I've kind of laid it out how it sits in the car. So this is the, this will be the steering wheel right here. This assembly goes off to the heater. And you can see on this main line here, this goes under the door trim at the edge where it seals next to the door. That all goes to like rear door windows and stuff like that. Cut it right there. If you want a full intact harness, cut it there. Same thing on this one. This goes down the door pillar. That's about where your left foot would sit. And then that one heads back towards the uh, driver's seat. Then cut it off. Um, that is as clean as it gets pulling it out of the car. Um, there is one more cut which is in the center here. I'm not sure if it's the same on manuals, but this would be going underneath your transmission tunnel and it goes down towards the passenger side. And I assume it just goes right up the middle of the car. I never really traced it because I knew there was nothing on there that I would need by the wiring schematic. So I just chase it back this is directly underneath your heater control unit. There's a little box there. I think that's the crash computer. I'm not sure, but you won't need that anyway if, if you're running the system. So, uh, and then it comes up and it goes into the firewall. That plug assembly connects to that. And that's how the two harnesses come together um, as far as the engine side. The power system comes over here. This would be the battery comes up through the firewall you can actually take this plug loose there's two 10 millimeters on the inside two 10 millimeters on the outside that is accessible right behind the ABS here makes that hole quite a bit bigger and you can pull the entire harness through so long as you take this power block off and oh, where the heck did it go um, the fan relay uh, the big chunker fan relay I don't know where it went but uh, Oh, there it is, duh, right here. So the fan relay here, um, you take that off and then everything pulls through. You might have to push one, one strand of the, the system through and then pull the next section, but it does, it goes right through. You can pull it completely through right there. Um, the other one, like I said, disconnects and it comes apart. So after that, we have the engine side. Uh, what I like to call the B-side. This controls the injection pump, glow plugs, and that's pretty much it. So one goes to the computer. The other side of this, this big 14 plug here, connects into the power system uh, side of the wire. So this is very important. You don't want to get rid of this on the power side. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, it's real simple. I just dis dis literally disconnect everything on the engine cabinet, pull it completely off, Get it out of this big black loomy thing that's here. Rip that out, it's junk. Disassemble that, pull this side out, and that's it. Now on the inside of the car, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, you can see the aftermath. Brutal, right? So, again, you don't have to go this far, but I did it because I want to do a advanced wiring, you know, full harness and everything so I can show everything deleted. Um, don't know what kind of condition guys get these harnesses in or how they pull them, but yeah, see there's that center console wire sticking up right there. Boom. Don't need it. Anyway, so it's actually pretty easy to get the dash out. Um, they come out decently easy. There's just a bunch of screws. You get the, the center here piece out first, then you pull the, the, the bezels off, the glove box out, the gauge cluster out, and then there's just a bunch of uh, T20s, I believe, that uh, you pull out. Uh, and the whole thing just unclips and pulls. You can bend this in the center here without breaking it, and that will allow you to get it past the steering wheel if you don't pull the steering wheel out. Um, there is a way to get the steering wheel out. you got to come from the back with a T, I think it's 20, T20. Uh, there's little holes back there that you can stick it through and pull the steering wheel off and you know try and do that whole dance of getting that off without a problem i just bend that little piece and pull it out and the dash is perfectly good there's you could resell it if somebody wanted it and it's not a big deal 
So, enough on this side, but anyway guys, that's the start of it. I'm going to go ahead and get this laid out on the garage floor and get my harness uh, book that I have and start going through how to connect and to delete. And uh, hopefully this will help you guys a lot. Um, for those of you who don't want to go through the hassle of pulling everything, um, you just need, in, in basic principle, standalone, no cruise control, all the crazy stuff deleted, just bare minimum electronic running. You need this, this, this uh, engine side. So these two disconnect on engine side only. And then you need to trace out this sucker right here. You could cut this inside the car, trace it all the way back, and pull that out. And even then, that one is just uh, connected to power wires. So if you really, really don't want to trace it, cut it, you know, pull it out of here, cut it a good foot back. And then you don't even need this side. I recommend that you try and get this blue plug because this is your uh, accelerator pedal. The other end of it is right on the other side of this. That's where the accelerator pedal is. So you take that out. You can cut that and you can cut that. Then you take this end here, stick it right on there, and then run your plug from the accelerator. Run solder in some wires that are longer. Just color match it and that's it. Um, if you're on a bare minimum of running, We'll get to showing how the standalone harness system works like that, but uh, I'm just going to try and lay it out to build it as a standalone. Uh, we'll leave in the AC system and we'll leave in the cruise control. Um, just like I said, you don't even need to delete the stuff if you don't want to. You can leave it in there and still run it. So in the future, you might want to put AC on or cruise control and you'll have it. So anyway, guys. I'm going to get going. That's about it for now. Any questions, let me know.